So which one are you? The cop, or the investigator, the inspector? The detective works fine, sweetheart. Well, I'm Chris... Sorry. I'm the actress. But really, you're late. So where's our gracious host? The mood feels a little bit stiff for a party. He always has loved his flair for the dramatic. Welcome all of you to my birthday dinner. I'm so happy you all were able to join me here tonight. I know all of you may not know each other, but I hope by the end of the night, you guys can become as good of friends with each other as you are with me. Prude. Sinner. Now you all know me, and I don't like to keep things simple. That's what these cards I gave you are for. Because tonight, there will be a murder. If you open up your card, you'll see the role you're gonna play in tonight's game. Most of them are innocent, but there's two special cards. One of them is our victim card, and unfortunately you'll just be our corpse tonight. But the other card is the murderer card, and you'll have to escape the judgment of everyone here. Now as the night keeps going, more details about the murderer will be revealed, so everyone will have to whip out their best magnifying glasses and try to find all the clues. Now a few ground rules before we start. No one's able to leave the premises, and you can't show your card to anyone else. Hey, you know what? Let's just have fun, guys. Let the games begin. Oh, oh. What is that? What is wrong with you? I mean, it was mine. You took it from me. Um, but it was backwards anyway, so. Um, is, is that a dead body over there? Is he dead? No, this is just another one of his productions to be the center of attention. No. He has no pulse. Alright everybody, this is now an active crime scene, so we need to take a few things in mind. First, nobody leaves the building. Uh, secondly, we need to start investigating while the body is still warm. It's going to give us the best chance of catching the murderer. What? Just because he's dead doesn't mean we can't enjoy the food. Shouldn't we call the cops? No need. Mr. Detective over there has that covered. Now, there's something I just don't get is... We were all together, right? So... Y'all think one of us snuck off and did it, or y'all think there's someone else here? No, I mean, look at him. He's on a tarp. Probably was in, like, some closet all wrapped up, and he's out here for dramatic effect, okay? It was one of us who did it. It was premeditated. Weren't you here early to help him set up this venue? No, I wasn't, actually. He wanted to set up this whole thing on his own so that the surprise wouldn't be ruined for me. That, and he had some business documents he wanted to check on. Who takes care of business documents at a party? This isn't just a venue. His office is right upstairs. Hey! So, 
Listen, I know what this may seem like, but I assure you I'm not guilty. Really? Yes! Running away right after the discussion of business came up? You, notoriously the biggest investor in our late friend's ideas, that doesn't seem guilty? If you let me explain, it'll clear it all up. You ain't really gonna listen to him, are you? Let's give him the chance to explain his very suspicious behavior. Thank you. Can you get this brood off my back? No. Fine. It is really quite simple. The doors lock after business hours and only I have the key. With all this talk of a hidden intruder, I had to go make sure all of our documents were safe and accounted for. Hmm? Alright, John Wayne. You can let him go. I'm not quite sure why you're here, especially under the circumstances why you left. Shall we go to main hall? Yeah, you go head down first. All right, okay, if we're gonna do it this untimely death, I'm gonna need y'all to work with me, okay? I don't care what secret grievances you guys have with one another, I need to know what you know. Well, I mean, he really is a genius. He built several companies from scratch, with my help, of course, and they all turned out to be successful. Oh, he was successful. That's one thing he would never let you forget. It was just the constant reminders around the house or whenever we went on dates that yes, he did make his way to this lifestyle through his own effort. Get over yourself. I did the same thing to become an actress, but it's not the sole thing I talk about. So how long were you two together? Like, two weeks? It has been a joyous eight months. I don't know much about his exes, though, before you ask. Well, we used to be a lot closer. Before he became successful, that is. Before he had an empire to build. Hey, you wouldn't uh, happen to have a cigarette on you, would you? So, uh... What happened? Why was there a falling out? You know, I was the one that left actually. Saw where things were going, knew sooner rather than later, there'd be no space for a guy like me in his life. So I saved him the trouble of having to be the bad guy. I left, I bailed early. You know, I don't think he could ever be a bad man. I think that's what makes this whole situation so distressing. It was a good man who died tonight. He was our biggest donor. He made several renovations to our church, St. Christopher. There will be many prayers in his honor when the news breaks. So I only hope that his friends and family can find some comfort in that, because Truthfully, I don't know who could murder such a good man. Hey, has anyone used the men's restroom tonight? Why? Oh. That seems like it could be crucial to solving the investigation. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the murder weapon. So, uh, who wants to grab it? Well, you're the one leading this investigation, so shouldn't it be you? Yeah, yeah. But you know, like, that'd be like improper, like, evidence chain of command, right? So, like, I probably shouldn't be the one to handle it. How about you, cowboy? Well, uh, you know, I would, but I don't want to, uh, tamper with your evidence. No, you're good. I'm watching you. I'll vouch for you. It's all good, man. You Jesus go. Christ, I'll do it! <sighs> there. Happy? All right. It's time for this charade to end. I know who the murderer is. Um, excuse me, what's that folder you've got there? Yes, that folder, the one with donation records to St. Mary's for tax write-off purposes. I'm sorry, you mean St. Christopher's, right? No, I don't mean St. Christopher's. These records show that the money supposed to go there is instead going to St. Mary's. How could you do this? We rely on your donations! I don't know anything about this, I swear. That's true, because- Don't act like you didn't know. You didn't show up for one service, not even for appearances. Interesting you note that. You know what? You're right. I think religion is a poor investment and a total waste of time and energy. All right, I wasn't done. Listen, you didn't know anything about that, all right? That's because you didn't know anything about the Articles of Incorporation for the church. 
Are you saying... Yeah, this was a money laundering scheme to abuse the loose tax rules on religious organizations. What's interesting is the noted beneficiaries of this, which none of you are. What? what? Are you kidding me? No, that simply can't be right. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're damn right it doesn't make any sense. I had to deal with that narcissistic prick just to end up with nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, as his business partner, I believe I am much more entitled to it than you are. You pieces of evidence, you were the only one there to discover them. You had time to plant them and clear your own name. And not only that, are you getting cake right now? Yeah, don't let that distract you. You can keep talking. Do you ever take anything seriously? Um, only things that need to be taken seriously. They're not one of those times. You don't think a man's death is a serious matter? No, death is a very serious matter, okay? But, unfortunately, the host isn't dead, okay? Oh, and, uh, by the way, Hotshot, can't get a pulse on, uh, someone's shoulder. But, if you guys would have let me explain, we could have already been on our merry way. Are you crazy? He was stabbed with a knife. He lies dead in front of us. Alright, I get it. You're not gonna believe me without a demonstration. So I propose to you all, a toast to the host. <laughs> no, I know this looks bad. Don't worry, I'll explain it to them. You just catch your breath. See, our wonderful host here duped all of you all into showing up simply so he could fake his own death and make off with all of his assets. But then why bring everybody together? Doesn't that risk him being discovered? Yes, but it does give more credit to him being murdered, and each of you seeing his death in person makes it more realistic and tragic. We get a religious appeal of having a member of the clergy be traumatized by seeing such a good Christian man be killed in front of her. Not only that, the trusted business partner who had been with him through thick and thin gives you a great sob story to take to the press. Of course, having his loving partner witness his death would be a horrible but realistic element to the murder as well. And last, we have the cowboy. This is more of an individual choice, as he knew if you didn't see his death, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, and there was supposed to be a cop here too, right? I don't know if he was like an accomplice or a legal barrier, but um, seems like his invitation got lost in the mail. Now, now hold on. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. Let him finish. Oh, thank you. I'm so honored, and I'm so glad that we're finally getting along. But I can see that all of you are getting really antsy to talk to our host over here, so let me cut straight to the chase, okay? The evidence was planted in such a way this crime could have been blamed on any of you, okay? Whether it be betraying the church, or moving funds from right under your nose, and inviting lovers past and present, it was genius until I got here. That's it? You're just gonna believe this random guy instead of me? After everything I've been through with each and every one of you? Oh, that really is it. In the course of one night, you all turned against me. I heard all the stuff you said about me about how great I was, or did you only care because I was dead? I don't know why you felt the need to run, whether it's financial or social ruin. 
but I know you did it to yourself. It's never been enough for you. It's who you are. Is that what you think? That all my problems are my own fault? That I can't handle myself? That, then why do you come crawling back to me? Just like all of you, all of you always do when you have the slightest problem in your life. Because I'm the only one who can handle things. I'm the only adult here. Jesus Christ, you just always have to be better than everyone, don't you? God, I know you're not talking to me. You, who's dating me exclusively, even transparently, just for my money. And I was fine with it just to ride the high of dating a celebrity. That was before I knew how annoying you would be. God, you are the most insufferable person I've ever met. And speaking of insufferable though, you know, you're a close second. All this talk about us being partners and rising the ranks together is utter horseshit and you know it. I was going places and you latch yourself onto me like a tick. If I'm out of picture, you'll just return to the nothing you were before you met me. And you might be the most pathetic out of all. All this talk about faith and worship, that's not what you care about. You never talked to me about the good word. You just wanted to make sure those checks cleared. And you know you're scared of me because when you die, you know it won't be Jesus, you'll see. It'll be me because I am your God. And where the hell is that detective? 